Here's where we left off, folks. It's about the um, giant mutant, the huge indestructible weapon, the chocolate, uh, whatever. Let's read. Mm, where should we begin? Corey fought back with a sword and killed the giant. Automatically. Of course. In the factory ruins, Corey came to a hallway that was a prison, but most cells were empty. Corey tore the doors apart with his bare hands to set free what or who might be inside. And he rescued a familiar ally. It was Cat Clown. Corey said, Cat Clown, what are you doing here? Cat Clown said, I was fighting, um, <clears throat> girly voice. I was fighting the evil goblins. Okay, that hurts my voice. I'm just going to tell it like it is. Until I blacked out and I did don't remember where I am I. They're complaining upstairs. If you can hear that through this video, um, don't worry about it. Um. Okay, Corey said, Thank God you're all right. But right now, we are still in the fight against evil itself. I'm on a quest to save the chocolate factory from the wrath of the goblin emperor. Will you join me on this quest? Keklo agreed. Sure. Suddenly, more goblins entered the area they were in. And they fought, Corey fought with sword. Cat Claw fought with cat like claws, a sharp dagger, and magic attacks. Like fire and broke bones, electricity, lightning, strickening the goblins as the ground shook in thunder. Corey ran, tearing down every door until he managed to set free a a powerful figure. Would they ever shut up upstairs? It was the Oopaloompa chocolate shaman. I don't know how to describe that. <laughs> it's a character. Um, you know what a shaman or a shaman is? It's like a, a, a native chief that does magic or something like that. It's culture all, and yeah, yeah. Okay, let's keep reading. A very important spiritual leader in the Oompa Loompa tribes and Willy Wonka industry. The chocolate beholder ground in which the Oompa Loompas worship. The religion of chocolate and their priest leading a chocolate pack to set free all Oompa Loompas from the dead and being captive of goblin hordes to break free the violence and return to peaceful labor. A chocolate shaman or shaman, I don't know how they pronounce that. It's a thing, okay? I, I'm not making this up was the author and perfecter of chocolate animism. Now, I did not say anime. That word has nothing to do with anime. It's animism. Chocolate animism is the religion of the Oompa Loompas. In divine prophecy to light the pathway, the Oompa Loompa, the chocolate shaman, was the one who taught the secret formula to Willy Wonka, 
who invented chocolate long ago. The Umbaluba Shaman spoke an ancient language that they didn't know or speak. I feel like I should break up this fight that's upstairs. Um, but I'm just going to ignore it and see what's what happens. Somebody is in trouble. No or speak. Corey said, hey, Mr. Indian Chief, sir, could you speak American English, please? What do I want, Gus said. That's the Oompa Loompa Chocolate Shaman. He's saying, Hello, Chosen One. Hello, Chosen One. I'm here to help. Then the Shaman waved around his staff and an explosion of light resonated, flashing as the Oompa Loompa Chocolate Shaman said ancient words of power. That nobody, not even Kaklau, who kind of studies magic, well, she could not understand. The ground shook. From the ground came to life were Oompa Loompas. A whole army of Oompa Loompas. Ready to fight the emperor who caused them so much pain and to kill and banish the evil known as goblins. Out of the factory, through the light, light, they were given the weapons they needed to kill goblins. Hammers, swords, shields, spears, bow and arrows, knives, daggers. Sounds like somebody's up in trouble upstairs. Ignore it. No drama. Keemstar. Okay. Together they fought more goblins marching through the hallways until some made it to the throne room. But Corey promised the cats he would rescue their... Queen so stayed below in the prison halls, tearing down doors with his strong hands. He tore down every cell door until he made it to a cell where he set free the queen of all cats. Thank you, mirror human, for rescuing me from this prison. My name is Fliffy. Fliffy, my cat. They have right now. Yeah. I'm the queen of all cats. Corey said, We can chit chat later. Mrs. Royal, whatever, Queen Cats. But we are in a fight right now. We must hurry. Help the Oompa Loompas defeat Emperor Goblin. Then in the throne room, many had died, but no one yet had given up. The Emperor Goblin, a goblin with many horns and with golden armor, he wore a chain necklace decorated with the, the skulls of dead Oompa Loompas that were murdered, one of them being a rare crystal skull. Nobody knows where they came, that came from. The crystal skull, I mean. Scram, you tribes of vermin. L l I mean, just. Just die, you pathetic worms. This chocolate factory belongs to me, not you. You had your chance. Now go to hell where you belong, dead. They yelled out to the emperor, You fool! This factory doesn't belong to you. 
He belongs to Willy Wonka and his Oompa Loompas. Come on, everyone. Give this goblin control freak what he, we got. We're, we're not going to die. We're going to win.